I said to my Greek friends, what do you want from me? <laughs> and I said to my Macedonian friends, reach out and do not stop, reach out. And I will do everything I can to be that bridge as well. My parents taught me to be a bridge. I grew up in a Muslim community, although I am Roman Catholic, in South Patterson, which got more Muslim <laughs> after I moved out. My mother, who died just a month and a half ago, still lived in that community. My sister still lives there. My aunts and uncles that are left still live in South Patterson. You go down this main street in South Patterson, you see all the signs in Arabic. Welcome to the United States of America. <laughs> there is a place for everyone. We are here to solve problems and not to put ourselves back into our homelands where we were born to solve theirs first. The problems of the United States must be our priority. And so many times we can be blinded back there as to our responsibilities. It's not easy for me to say that because I know how you love Macedonia. And I can't quite fathom how two beautiful countries have decided to argue and fight over what one country has a right to do, name itself. <laughs> name itself. You and I would be aggravated and indeed angry if Great Britain ever said to us in the United Nations, we don't like you to have this, the name of the United States. We want you to be former Great Britain. <laughs> and we would say, up your nose. <laughs> Never happened. We are Americans. Don't tell us what to call ourselves. So there's more to this than just the name. But I have seen some obstinacy on both sides. We say in Italian, trapadost, hard-headed. We need to relax. Thomas Friedman wrote eight years ago that we live in a time when we cannot be concerned about whether the border ends here or one inch from here. There are too big of a problem out there. We need to reach out and continue to reach out. The Greeks are not your enemy. And the Macedonians are not the enemy of the Greeks. So it goes two ways, that bridge. I know it's difficult to have a bridge. I know it's difficult when you think that you are 100% right. Nobody is 100% right except God. Don't play God. Don't play God. To come to a conclusion, we need compromise. To come to a conclusion, we need to say, how about this or that? Not to say, we're not moving. Countries that say, we are not moving, countries don't last long. We live at a time when we need each other more than ever today. We, we say, with the swine flu, today, on this very day, that there is a pandemic. We've decided. So that sends a message throughout the entire world that we can rise above our borders and our differences and come together on certain things. If we do not come together, then we are essentially sowing the seeds of falling sooner or later. In the Congress this year, we have taken some important action on issues that I know are important to the Macedonian community. Resolving the name dispute and Macedonia membership in NATO. Macedonia must be in NATO. Macedonia must be in NATO. If Macedonians are willing to shed their blood and open up the camps that the Albanian and those from Kosovo went into in 1998, 1999, then they deserved a seat in NATO. 
they deserve, that country needs that recognition. They deserve that recognition. I will not stop until Macedonia is in the NATO countries. You heard about the letter we just sent to the Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, to express our support for a fair and dip diplomatic solution. We need that solution now. We need it under the requirements of the, the MAP process. Just today, Congressman Souter and I sent a letter to our colleagues asking them not to co-sponsor a resolution that is currently circulating again that admonishes Macedonia. We are not in school. Don't lecture to us. We know what our rights are. We will resolve our differences when we sit down. Don't point a finger at us. Don't twist history. And we cannot twist history either. We must encourage a diplomatic process to resolve the name dispute so that we move forward. And we believe that rhetoric of that nature is not helpful. So it's circulating again. We submarined it last year. We'll have to do it again this year, Mr. Souter. And we will. We will stick by our guns. We choose to give advantage to no country until there is advantage for all. We choose not to bang the drum for any people until we recognize that everyone is equal under God's eyes. Do not treat us as secondary citizens of the world. I know of the historic dispute. I understand that part of Greece is Macedonia. I understand that some people there even think that someday Macedonia will strengthen itself, these two and a half million people, and attack Greece. Please don't hold your breath. <laughs> I respect you too much. In the meetings that I've had with the Greek community, my brothers and sisters who I work with day in and day out, I don't say anything different than some of you have been with me than I talk now. We have too many people on Capitol Hill that suffer from quattro facce, four faces. Four faces. You have one face, people will respect you. If you have more than one face, people will find you out sooner or later. I thank you for this award. It means a lot to me. But more important than the award is my friendship with the Macedonian American community and my respect for that country as I stood there in 1999. And I stood in Skopje at that camp, which was only supposed to hold 10,000 people. And there were 35,000 refugees in those white camps that spread over the hills. And people didn't even know who to thank, but they were alive. I saw the Macedonians pour their hearts out and reach out to people who have been pushed out of their land as we tried to defend, defend those people, NATO, Macedonia. So, 10 years later, I'm here in Washington, D.C., and I am committed to do everything I possibly can to build the bridge, to make that bridge stronger. God bless Macedonia. God bless Greece. God bless the United States of America. I'm a proud American. I was the first member of my family to finish grammar school. Some people say I should have stopped while I was ahead. <laughs> and I will never, ever, 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 ever let you down. Nor will the members sitting here. <laughs>